today we are starting on the renovation of my future sewing room. This room needs a lot of work, so we're gonna put a new coat of paint on the walls, we're gonna redo the floors, we're gonna do some other um, stuff to pretty it up, and soon I'm gonna have an excellent sewing space and I can't wait. I've worked in this studio space for the last two years. It's in the basement of a small commercial building in Washington, D.C. that was built in the 1950s. It's a large multi-room space, and up until now I've been using this room as my jewelry studio and sewing in another room in the back. But I decided I wanted to take advantage of the better light in this room and convert it into my sewing room. I'm so grateful I have so much space to work with and the flexibility of being able to customize this room however I want. I'm doing all this work with the help of my partner, so you'll see his hands and feet helping me out a lot in this video. Alright, it is the end of day two. We've got almost all the painting done. Um, this wall is sort of like a really pale gray blue, and then all the rest of the walls are like a, a almost sort of rosy white color just to give a nice cast to the color of the room. Um, because this is a basement apartment, so I don't have uh, windows all the way down the walls, I just wanted something that was going to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, we do have one little patch that we need to do. Uh, that was the spot that needed extra spackle, so we'll have to go back and finish that one. But other than that, the painting is almost entirely done, which is really exciting. And the new color is excellent, like it looks really beautiful in here, so I'm really excited. Hooray! The flooring we chose was vinyl snap-in flooring. This is a cost-effective, simple, and durable floor finishing, especially for us to do ourselves. There was a little bit of a learning curve, but once we got the hang of it, the stuff went in really easily. The hardest part was sorting the separate designs and mixing them up so you get a random looking set of boards instead of repeating the same pattern over and over. It was like a big high-risk puzzle.
Okay, we have just finished the floors. They're all done and they look really, really beautiful. Again, this is that vinyl snap-in fake wood flooring. It looks great. Like this is the best upgrade. It cost about $500 for all the supplies for it. Um, so it wasn't cheap necessarily, but it was a lot cheaper than real wood floors, of course. Um, but it just looks beautiful. For the baseboards, we went to this great store in DC called Community Forklift, which is a mishmash of architectural salvage, construction remnants, and otherwise recycled building materials. We found some amazing baseboards that were pulled out of some seriously grand building, and we were really delighted to give them a new home in my studio. They're a little bit fancy for my space, but I think they really class up the room. And they're recycled, so win-win. Okay, now it's time to start moving everything in. As a reminder, I used a different smaller space as my sewing room before, so this was a great opportunity to reorganize and rethink my use of space.
right now I'm up to the absolute worst part of this whole project, which is trying to organize all this junk into being a functional space that I can actually use and won't be miserable sewing in here. So oh, this is like not even all of it. <laughs> I mean, I have like all my fabric and bins back here, which all needs to be sorted and folded. I have just like random piles and boxes of things and mismatched organizational stuff that needs to be dealt with and just ugh, just stuff everywhere so <sighs> I have a lot of work to do before this becomes a functional and, and useful space like it deserves to be. I have to give a big thank you to my dear friend Jenny Rose who came over for some help organizing. She is the organization queen and it was so good to hang out with a friend for the first time since February. Oh, I miss people. All right, it's all done. You guys ready to see it? Let's go. <laughs> it 
This is my supplies um, and material storage area. So I've got bins here with laces of different uh, shades, black and white. I have um, boxes of ribbons and that sort of storage here. Um, this is paper flowers. I have velvet leaves and flowers in these bins. As you can see, I have a little bit of a flower collection problem. This is my rack of fabrics. I'm keeping the sheet over it when I have it stored because since I have this window here, I don't want the light to come in and fade these on the fold. Um, but you can see that I just have the sheet clipped on with wonder clips and I can lift it up and access anything that I need. And this will help preserve the colors and also keep dust and things off of it. It's just a very cheap, easy way to take care of your fabric. And then here I have um, patterns of various styles, of everything in one space on this. This is another basic desk that we have, and then I just use these little bed risers to raise the level up a little bit. This way it works as a much more functional cutting table because I don't have to bend over nearly as much to be able to use it. It's actually a much more comfortable height for me to use without a lot of strain on my back. This is my actual sewing area with my machine, my cutting table, I have my station here for my iron, and then I have, you know, things like my books and my random supplies. There's extra threads and things like that here, so I have everything sort of in this one section that's related to the actual creation of the garments. This is my costume storage rack. So this is all of my um, dresses and outer garments and things like that. We custom built this rack because none of the ones that you can buy at like Target or Ikea were strong and sturdy enough for the heavy weight that you get from all these costumes. So we built this just for materials that you can get at Lowe's. We're actually gonna be building a second one of these and I'll film that for the YouTube channel and show you a how-to because it's really simple and pretty cheap. I think materials involved has probably cost only around $50 and we made it in you know a matter of an hour and a half or so. So I'll show you how to make one of these. It's great because since it's so tall, all my dresses can hang without dragging the floor, except for the ones that have really long and exaggerated trains, but you know, what are you gonna do? This area is gonna be a dedicated filming space for YouTube videos and taking pictures of my costumes. So that way I'm not trying to like find a clean corner <laughs> of my workroom or somewhere pretty outside. I can actually just do it all in here. So I've left this corner totally blank and decorated um, just so I had a space to do that here. And there's a lot of really meaningful things in this section for me. This table and this little chest were made by my great uncle. My father made this beautiful wooden vase that you see here, and my great grandmother painted this picture that's behind me. So it's kind of like a little family museum right here in this little section. And I also have a nice full length mirror on the wall which means that I can do really great fitting videos without having to think about it too much. All right, it's hard to pick just one thing, but I think my favorite thing in this whole studio is this table here. Now, this is just an old dining room table that somebody in our neighborhood was throwing out and we just picked it up off the street, but we upgraded a little bit by putting casters on all the legs, which means now this is a table that I can easily move around in this space. So if I need a large open area to cut something really big or just want some space for some reason, I can do it this way. If I want to do a YouTube video where I have something where I want to show it on the table, I can put it over here. Uh, this was so easy. I mean, the casters cost like $5 each and it has made this table like the most amazing piece of sewing equipment. So I am really excited about this and it moves so easily. I hope you've enjoyed this renovation and tour of my sewing studio. Please check out my channel for my historical costuming and subscribe to see what I create in the sewing space in the future. Thank you.